Calculator Orientation 101. Here is your calculator. You want to press this button here to turn it on. More than likely, this screen will appear. So you either want to press the Home button or simply say Enter while it's highlighted on Home. Now, it's likely that you have a blank screen, but it's also likely that you have some stuff on your screen already that you want to get rid of so that you're at a clean slate. You either use these arrows here to highlight everything and clear it, or use the F1 tools. So here's the F1 function. Select it and use your arrow key to scroll down to option 8 or simply press 8 and that will clear the home. Now let's get some terminology down. At the bottom here in this rectangular box this is where you type things. This is what I call the typing screen or the working screen. Up here is where it displays all the results so I call this portion the display screen. Now let's start off with a simple arithmetic computation. Let's do 5 divided by 2 and see what happens. 5 divided by 2 and now I'm going to press enter and wait a minute I'm expecting 2.5 but it's giving me 5 over 2. I'm asking for 5 divided by 2 and it's returning 5 over 2. Now stop here for a second. Your calculator should be doing this. It's giving you the exact result. 5 over 2. Perhaps it was 5 over 3. It's going to give you the exact. Now if your calculator right now is not displaying 5 over 2, if it is instead displaying a decimal, we want to change that. So everybody, whether or not yours says 5 over 2, I would like everybody to do the following. Press the mode key and scroll down until you get to the word exact or approximation. What you want to do is highlight this and press enter giving you several options. Now if you had approximate then it's always going to give you the decimal. I like to have it on auto it allows for some flexibility. So if yours is not on auto, make sure you press the number 1 or highlight auto and say enter. And when you press enter, it'll be back at this, at this screen. You actually want to say enter again to make sure these changes were saved. Now go back, clear everything out, and re-enter 5 divided by 2, enter, and it should say now 5 over 2. But what if we wanted the decimal? We don't want to go around fiddling around with that mode all the time. We always want it to be in auto mode. But there are times I want the decimal. So there are two ways that you can do that. There are actually more than two ways, but I'm going to show you two ways now. One is to enter 5 over 2, but before, in, sorry, but before saying enter, press diamond enter. Diamond enter automatically gives you the decimal. Another way to do that is to type in a decimal. So I did 5 decimal divided by 2 and the minute I introduce a decimal into my typing screen the result will always be a decimal. And as you do this a lot, you'll become familiar and fluent with exact or approximate, depending on what the question calls for.